What's up guys, so today we are going to be starting the build of my GT3 RS. Ah, oh, clickbait, ah, oh, that's not a real GT3 RS. Come on guys, it's a joke. So, this Lego set, I'm a big Lego guy, I've always been since I was a kid, let's face it, who wasn't. Uh, the Porsche GT3 RS, Technic Lego set, I've been waiting on this since pretty much June, and it finally, uh, it finally came back in stock on Amazon Prime, and I bought it, and then within about two minutes of me buying it, it went back out of stock again. I think they're selling for like 400, 350, 400, 450 bucks on eBay. 299 is the MSRP, so I picked it up, and it's pretty in-depth. You know, there's a couple other videos on YouTube, but there's the interior, you know, the hub assembly, the engine, seats, you know, top view. So. We're gonna get this open. I don't think I'm gonna be able to film the whole thing, the whole build for you, because it is a quite in-depth build. This will be one of the more in-depth sets that I've built. It's 2,700 pieces, 2,704 pieces, but I wanted to kind of film it just to show you guys. I'm sure one of you out of my subscribers is a LEGO fan and will appreciate this video. Um, so I just wanted to kind of film it and we'll get it unboxed and see what's in here. I know the presentation of this is pretty well um, it's it's nicely done. So I know Porsche. You know this was developed in, in in works with Porsche. So let's get it open and see what's in the box. So as you can see, it is sealed. Two six S six. So here's the setup. Got the wheels. The instruction manual. <laughs> Look at the size. This is the biggest build book I've ever seen. I mean, look at that. Look how in-depth that is. That's ridiculous. We'll go ahead, get everything opened, and uh, start the long process. Here, I just opened a page 339. I mean, you can see the underside of the... <laughs> this is all the inner workings, and it sucks because when you get the thing built, from what I understand is you can't really take apart the body panels and see the inner workings. And this actually is all functioning. You know, here's the paddle shifters. You know, you can see the steering wheel right here. These are the paddle shifters. They actually work and change gears. So I want to get it together and I'll, I'll stop and pause and record throughout some different phases and whatnot um, as I go. But yeah, I'm excited to build this one. Like I said, this is probably one of the most in-depth uh, Legos I've built. Uh, I have a couple of the big Star Wars ones. I have the Millennium Falcon. That was a fun one to build. So I'm looking forward to getting this built and getting it up in the man cave up next to the Falcon in where uh, all the guy stuff is. And uh, yeah, let's get started.
little update as of right now. It's um, it, this thing's pretty ridiculous. So if you can see here, here's the the motor, um, and as you can see, the motor the motor turns. So you can see that or not. There we go. It's a little better for you. But look, it turns all the everything. I mean, this thing is pretty well advanced. This is probably one of the most most advanced sets I've done. Obviously, um, I would love to have done the Death Star, but haven't been able to get that and now they're ridiculously priced but you can see the steering works steering works suspension works same with the back hubs here so it's pretty cool i mean it's really cool to see this come together and obviously this is what took the longest amount of time but having all this stuff work and, and turn and the paddle shifters these actually click and shift here's the linkage coming down into here these actually shift and move these arms and it moves this cylinder back and forth into the proper gears um, you have drive neutral drive neutral and um, reverse so if I put it in neutral the hubs obviously you know aren't spinning if I put it in drive how about that so rear wheel drive car obviously uh, rear wheel drive car so the fronts aren't gonna spin but you can see your diff in there so it's pretty cool I mean you flip it back to neutral nothing so unfortunately it looks like all this is going to be hidden and you're not going to be able to easily take it apart to show anybody this so i wanted to put this on film now and kind of document it so you guys could see it and the progress that has been going on but like i said this is about six hours and we're still technically not done now that's because lego shame on you i'm missing a piece so i have to go <laughs> find that and hopefully the piece is in there. If not, I've already requested a piece from Lego, but that could take a week to get here and that I'm kind of stuck because I can't put this piece on and I can't skip this and build everything else. You know, that this has to go on now and, and whatnot. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna get him open and see if the piece is in here and we will carry onward from there. That piece, I'm not sure if it'll come through. I need one of those. Here's the pile of pieces left. It's not there. It, you may think it's these pieces, that's not it, it's not there. And unfortunately, I need that piece to be able to add this third, uh, I don't know if it's a throttle body, um, header, I think it's probably a header for the exhaust. Um, and I have no way to attach this piece to that portion and this sits right on top of the the motor and whatnot up, up here so um i've had to do some digging uh so i ran out and i'm hoping if my research is correct ah <laughs> yes this set should have that specific piece that i need so i'm going to open this guy up and pretty much see if it's in there. Current sit rep. Got both bags out of the creator box from Walmart here, or wherever the hell I bought it, Walmart. And as you can see, right there is the piece, that black piece I need. It's got the plus uh, side, that the tubing connector, and then it's got a little snap connector built right on the end of it. That's the single piece that I'm missing, Lego, so. Perfect, I'm glad it's in there. This was $10 for this kit, you know. I'll probably, because I'm still a kid at heart, I'll probably try to build the Lego set. Hopefully that's not a pivotal piece and I can uh, build the build the fighter jet or something without it. But that little piece is going to connect into here. It's gonna connect through here 
and allow the arm to connect for the exhaust or the manifold. And we should be able to continue on with <laughs> the whopping amount of pieces we have left for the box one and on to box two. And just like that, I have my piece and I can continue onward. All right, we are done with box one. Here's the underside. One of the last steps was putting these rails on, I'm assuming some sort of attachment point for when you put the body or the chassis on to the body. Um, hence why these are pulled out, because I'm sure something slides in here and they click in. So anyways, here's the underside of the car. This is the back. This is the front. You can still see all the inner workings kind of underneath here and whatnot, but this thing is freaking awesome. Let me see if I can flip this over here without breaking anything. <laughs> Bring him over just like so. And there we go. That is the completed. Here you can see the what we were working on. This is the first box. This thing is real cool. And you guys probably saw in the speed time lapse build, but there is, that is a serial number for this specific Lego. A couple extra pieces. Of course, not any extras are the one that I needed, but you know, hey. So yeah. It's pretty, uh, pretty sweet. Like I said, you, you know, here you can see everything moving. This is kind of your last picture of the inner workings before the body, I'm assuming, goes on. So this is box two instructions. So we'll get that out and get cranking away on that. Holy hell, this is an exhausting build. <laughs> I'm only on box uh, two. So anyways, guys, here's box two. Pretty much, there's a couple pieces left, but I bagged them up, I'm getting ready to call it a night. But this is the rest of the chassis that's going to go on top of our drivetrain. So, yeah, uh, this only took like an hour and a half, this portion, but I'm gonna call it a night and I will finish the rest of the build tomorrow but as you can see they kind of kind of just sit right on top of each other there and you know this guy will go on top and then we have the body panels left and the wing um, and that should be it so we'll keep on going and finish up tomorrow <laughs> What's up guys? So we are here day two of the Porsche GT3 RS build. Now some of you Lego connoisseurs out there know what this set is and know that this set takes a very long time to do. I believe the average right now is about 10 to 12 hours to build this. So it's in four boxes. We did box one and most of box two last night. So we're going to continue onward today. We are at the point of pretty much merging the body chassis which is this big piece that was box two onto the drivetrain chassis so we're gonna go ahead and i'll get get that put on top of here and that's when you really start the car see the car take shape 
it will uh, I believe box three is a lot of the panels which are going to connect onto onto here and you'll really start the car to see the car take shape and also then the wing I believe goes on but it's going to be disappointing to see all this mechanics start to be covered up. I mean, you know, it's really, really cool. And a lot of people aren't going to see this. They're not going to know what went into build, building this unless you guys obviously are watching the video. But, you know, the fact that the steering and everything just works, the suspension works. I mean, here's a PDK, you know, the shifter. So you can see it, it shifting. You can see the PDK right there. There's moving the gears around. So... Um, yeah, it's gonna be kind of a bummer to, to really put put the rest of the car together because all this beautiful, you know, technic creation is gonna go away. So I know that's a lot of people's gripes with this car, but if you're a Lego fanatic, which which I am, uh, you know, we're all kids at heart, so to speak. So this is a cool set. I really wanted to get it when it came out, especially being a gearhead. So we'll go ahead and get the second part of the chassis onto the main chassis and start the body panels and we'll see the car take shape. Alright guys, first of all I apologize because the gimbal batteries are charging so this might be a little shaky but here is the end of box 2 and 1, 1 and 2. So as you can see a lot of the chassis stuff such as the gears and whatnot you can't really see anymore. Engine's all covered up um, which is a bummer but you know I know what I'm building here and I know what is going into building this so it's it is cool that I know kind of what's underneath but that is the big bummer with this is not a lot of people are gonna I think appreciate it obviously this video will show it which is most most of the reason why I'm doing this video and I figured you guys would like to see it and how involved it actually is and why it is worth 300 bucks I know that's a little bit salty for a lot of people but um, you know, I, I think for the, the amount of pieces that you're getting and the fun factor of building it and knowing what you're building, I think it's worth it. So that's the end of uh, box one and two. So basically box three, I believe, is pretty much the body panels. So we'll start getting that out and putting that together. I'm sure that's when you'll really, really start to see the car take shape. I mean, you can kind of see it now, the front end with the bumper and whatnot. But... Yeah, let's uh, keep cranking away.
Alright guys, here is the end of box three. Now it's looking like a car. You can start to see the classic lines of the 911, the 991 style, but um, a lot of it was the body panels, the rear end. So basically what's left is the wheels, the wing, box four is the wing assembly and all the, you know, there's functional doors and, and all that. So it's coming along and should be done here shortly. guys home stretch both doors are on functioning wings on functioning what I'm wrapping up is right now filling in this grill area as you can see it's filled in over here so we'll fill this grill area in. I just finished this fender fill that grill area in finish up the windshield arches the uh, a pillar arches there and get the wheels on and she'll be done <laughs> must say it looks badass right now just sitting <laughs> ghetto style no no wheels or anything but um yeah home stretch let's get her done Here she is, all complete. And I know it's gonna look small on camera, but this thing is massive. Um, I mean, it, it's it's pretty big. You know, the, the, the door's pretty big. So, I mean, I'm really happy with this. I, you know, like I said previously, it sucks that you can't see the mechanics and the inner workings and stuff, but I know they're there. I know they work. And that's, you know, cool. You know, I'm the one who built this, but you know, the wing is functional, so the wing arches, you know, you bend these, bend these down to get a little more of, a, of an angle on the wing. Um, that opens up so you can see in the engine. And uh, up here, the hood opens up. And you got your little luggage in there so yeah I'm uh, I'm really happy with this to me it was worth the money I think it's gonna be cool for the man cave in my office um, it's a very unique piece I mean it, it looks very well I mean you know what this car is if you're anything into cars so um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the time-lapse I know this is a little different video but uh, as always if you like what you see subscribe if you don't already follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. It's at Troy Sowers, real simple. And uh, as always, guys, see you in the next video.